Good morning from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where it is breakfast time and your man is hungry. So let's go look for some local food. This looks like Indian food, I think. I'm actually looking for something called nasi lemak. It's some local rice dish that I've never tried, despite being in KL for the last week or so. I've not tried, I think, the most famous dish, nasi lemak. So that's what I'm searching for right now. This looks like Chinese Malaysian food. So you'll find in Malaysia, there's a big mix between Indian, Malay and Chinese. So I think the nasi lemak is specifically Malay. So I'm looking for a Malay restaurant. Maybe I would get in there. Maybe I should ask somebody. Saya sedang mencari nasi lemak. Ini ada, ini. Ini? Ini kita ada nasi lemak. Okay. Nasi lemak, she's putting here. 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 Oh, so this is nasi lemak here? Yeah. Ah, okay. You want to do it? Yeah, who's the boss? This lady. No you staff. Drink? Drink? Yeah. What? You want a new coffee? Uh, water, water. Water. Yeah. Chinese tea? Huh? Chinese tea or the water? Water, yeah. Water. Uh, you're working here? Huh? I'm looking for nasi lemak. That's nasi, nasi lemak. Oh, okay. Uh, so I pay first or after? I don't know what the system is here. I don't know if I just grab it and start eating or I have to pay the guy first. Uh, it looks like he's giving me it to take away. I want to sit down. Yeah, I, I will sit down here. Here? Okay, nice. Thank you, thank you. So I think I, think I pay after. You pay after, right? Money after. After, I Oh, I'll pay the lady who brings the water. Water Okay, good. Yeah, the water is coming. Water is coming. Uh, drink coffee or? Yeah, water is coming. I ordered already. Order. Yeah. Okay, so it's confusing. I just don't know what the system is, but now I know. But you find somebody who's working here. The thing is, they all wear the same. They all wear just like regular clothes, so you don't know who's a customer and who's working. Like there's people just like hanging around. Like that guy, is he is he a customer? Is he sitting drinking his bag of coconut water? I don't know. But what I do know is inside here is nasi lamak. Oh, there we go, guys. Look at that. There's an egg on top, half an egg, I think. Uh, there's some peanuts there, and. A bunch of spicy stuff. I believe this is anchovies as well, dried anchovies. So that's what nasi lemak is. I believe it's rice that's cooked in coconut milk and pandan. So pandan is a type of flour. And usually the leaves, they make desserts with them. I've had pandan in desserts before. Normally it's with sweet food, but this, uh, thank you. 450, sir. 450, okay. okay. This for the water and for this? Yeah. Okay, 450. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so 450 ringgits, that's a buck. It's pretty decent for a meal and a drink. So I believe this is going to be spicy. Spicy, yeah? Okay, it looks spicy. Look at this sauce. Look how red it is. It just looks like it's going to be very spicy. So I'm probably going to have to mix this in. Let's give a taste of the rice first before uh, I get the spicy stuff on it. I want to taste the, the pandan. Oh yeah. I'm tasting more of the coconut, the coconut milk. So I think it's been boiled in coconut milk. It tastes delicious. It's all soft and um, mushy. It's lovely. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you so much. Okay. And already, oh. It's already spicy before I even mix all that spicy sauce in. Oh my god. Whew. I'm thankful I got the water. And the egg. It tastes like a spicy egg. And yeah, this is basically nasty mac. What you get with it. The egg, 
the peanuts there and then the dried anchovies that I haven't mixed in. I'm going to mix it all into the rice, mix everything together and start eating it. Here we go, got everything on one big spoonful. Oh yeah, the saltiness, the saltiness from the anchovies, the spiciness from the sauce, the peanutty taste and texture. This is very nice. And you've seen in there, there was only two left. So I got the second last one. It's already 9 a.m. So they prepare these for breakfast. I think a lot of people, they just take them away. They're, they're not conveniently packaged. But um, yeah, glad I got here on time to sample this breakfast treat. Spicy food for breakfast, guys. This is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna give me a lot of energy for the day. There we go, cleared the plate. Well, not actually the plate, it's a banana leaf that it's wrapped in. Lovely. Thank you, Andy, thank you so much, thank you. Thank you, brother, okay. nicely, Mac. Very okay. nice, Enak, Enak. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What a start to the day, spicy food. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and find something sweet now. I'm gonna just wander around this area. I'm in the Imbi area, I believe it's called. So just spicy food everywhere. These locals just eating spicy food for breakfast. Not something I would normally do, but it's perked me up. It's perked me up more than, you know, something like coffee would. So let's go for a wee wander around. Hi, uh, brother, how, how are, are you? you? Good, thank you. Uh, yeah. Ah, look, one of these open top buses. Doesn't seem to be very popular. At least not in this heat. Guys, I'm baking, I'm baking. Although I guess half of it is kind of indoor and air conditioned. That's where your man would be. In the back bit, like a bad boy at the back of the bus. Soaking up all the AC. I'm just trying to walk on paths that are kind of shaded by these massive buildings. So as you can see, there's a lot of these huge buildings around and they do provide some shade. If you're smart about what side of the road you walk on and such, you can avoid the sun most of the time. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna head up to the KLCC park, which I think is over on the other side of these buildings. I feel like, if I'm going to be wandering around, I might as well do it in a park rather than out here on the streets, guys. So let's try and find our way there. I don't see any pavement. Ah, okay, here. See, this is where you want to be, guys. In the shed, like this. <laughs> Not on that side of the road. But your man was sweltering. Check this out, notice. This land is not for sale. So this looks like it's been here since 1956. A restaurant, I believe, and it looks well out of place. Have a look around, guys. It's like a massive mall, I think, there. Fancy hotels, fancy condominiums and stuff. Basically surrounding this thing that just looks completely out of place. But I guess, like, uh, the owners just want to keep the restaurant. They want to keep it there, their traditional 70 year old restaurant and not sell to you know the big developers who will just make another tower or something very nice restaurant hacker so here we are klcc park so these are all hotels like right there this is the traders hotel the very first time i came to kl like 10 years ago that's where i stayed and this has direct access to this park although it seems they're doing some kind of construction here which is a shame because there's kind of like a a walkway all around it i think there's an inner circle as well this guy seems to be walking on ah you see it's like a rubber kind of running track so you can get your exercise in without wrecking your joints which is kind of nice isn't it guys 
And another good thing about this park, guys, is you get an absolutely cracking view of the Petronas Twin Towers. So these Twin Towers, they used to be the tallest buildings in the world back when they were opened, the end of the last millennium, August 1999. So I think that record stood for like five years until 2004, 2005, when the Taipei 101 tower was opened. And then after that, the Burj Khalifa. So they're no longer the tallest towers in the world, but they're the tallest twin towers in the world still. There's no twin towers that are as big as this. And this bridge in between the two towers, you can get up that and there's an observation deck on one of the towers as well that you can also get up. But I've done that before in a previous visit, so I'm not gonna do that. But as you can see by the clock right there, it is 10 o'clock and guys, it is getting absolutely roasting. I'm allowed to just jump in this. Is this a swimming pool? Hello, hello, it's swimming. Swimming, yes. And I think he nodded his head. I think I'm allowed to go swimming in this. There doesn't seem to be any, uh, any way in. I don't know, I think that's for swimming or just for splashing around right there in the middle. I think this is just like a, a pond area, guys. Anyway, it's roasting. Only 10 a.m. and it's absolutely roasting. But uh, I, I'm just gonna get some exercise in here and then I think I'll go back to the hotel have a good siesta and see you guys for lunchtime. I'm planning on going to Chinatown. There's a big market area in Chinatown here. So uh, yeah, I'll see you then. And here I am guys, Chinatown. This is Jalan Petaling. And this is the street that I'm gonna head down because it has just started raining. But this street, you can see it's all covered like this, so you can stroll around the market. All dry and nice, fantastic. So I think this is your typical kind of tourist market street. I don't think many locals see white faces around. You see plenty of foreigners, but you don't see many locals. So yeah, it's your usual kind of knockoff, fake watches and such like. I wouldn't actually mind getting myself the local football team. I got one when I was in Saba. I got Saba FC. Maybe I can get KL City, I think it is, in the Malaysian Super League, I think it's called. Let's 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 ask people and see if we can find one of them. And also, I'm hungry, it is lunchtime, so that is the main reason I'm here actually. This guy's got like a bunch of sports shirts. Chicago Bulls there, it's all basketball. Basketball stuff there. Yeah, okay. See if we can find some football shirts. Uh, 49 ringgit Nike shoes there. So 49 ringgit, that's about, forget, that is, I think, 10, 10 bucks, $10 for a pair of fake Nikes. Oh, well, there are football shirts there. Guys got Ajax, England, Czech Republic, Brazil. I don't know if he's got the local team. Who is the owner of this shop? Maybe this guy here. Yeah. Hi, bro. So, uh, Menchari uh, Bola Jersey, KL City. No, oh, where? Where KL City? Where? Here, no? Okay. No KL City. Here, just it's for the tourists, so it's all like Manchester United and such like. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll find it here. I might have to go to some local market to find that, but I will have a wee browse, building up an appetite here. I don't see any food around here in this covered in this covered area. I think I'm gonna have to go on the, the, the side streets of uh, Chinatown to find that. Or oh, Manchester United. And basketball shirts. Hello, yeah, I'm in Cherry, uh, Jersey Bola, KL City. Kuala KL City, no, Manchester City. No, and the KL. I'm in KL. I need KL. <laughs> no, why you have Manchester but no KL? KL is no. Uh, in uh, here club, in Petaling. Club, okay. club. Huh? club. Indonesia club. Yeah, Indonesia club. Yeah, Indonesia KL, club. KL City. Uh, How much? Uh, okay. I don't know if she's finding one for me. 
Oh, uh, what club is this? JDD. Ah, oh, I want KL. What club is this? But it's blue and red and white. I like the colors. Anyway, what what club is this? Uh, JDD. Johor. J Johor. Johor. Okay, so this is Johor. And they're sponsored by UNICEF. I like the color. Huh. This, uh, oh, the size S. Oh, the Selengo, you said. Selengo. Selengo, yeah. Oh, the Selengo also have uh, red and yellow. Uh, you have Johor, you have the Johor. What one is this? Malacca. Malacca. Uh, Malacca. You have Johor size L? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. How many you want? Uh, just one. Just one. Uh, Brapa Harganya, Satu, Satu. Jersey Bolo. Nam Lima. Inam Lima. Mm. Oh. Johor, Johor. Johor, oh. Silver one, silver. Inam, that's uh, 60. Oh. oh. Uh, see, expensive, I see, I see, I expensive. Check the, I check the size first, okay? Check the size. Ah, uh, okay, okay, but I need a lower price than okay. 60. Yeah. How many Inam. you want? Uh, just also? one, just one, just one, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we'll see if we can get. Uh, you Philip Dale? No, I'm Dale Philip. Dale Philip? Yeah, I'm not Philip Dale, I'm oh. Dale Philip. Hello, how are you? Are you shopping? Yes. Uh, for what? Jersey Bola? No? Uh, you working or shopping? Working. Working, I'm ah. Working shopping. Ah, okay, but you have you have a shop here. What is your shop selling? Nothing good. Uh, I not speak English. Ah, uh, okay. How you watch my video? You watch my video. Uh, Me, I'm speaking English. Your video, speak English. Yes, yes. You uh, reading the uh, subtitles? Yeah. Ah, okay. Saya sudah subscribe. Oh, you should subscribe. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Should subscribe. It means he already subscribes to your man. Okay, the lady is going I'm to see. I'm Indonesian people, not Malaysian people. You are Indonesian people? Yes. Ah, okay, good. But you're living in KL? You're staying in KL? I'm working in KL. Ah, okay. Yeah. Tapi, uh, Dari, Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay, good. I am Sumatran Island. Sumatra? Yeah. Oh, I've been to Sumatra. Yeah. Lake Toba, Danau you Toba. Like, you like Danau Toba? Yeah, I like. It's good. Midan. Yeah. And Bukit Lawang. I'm watching your, your video. You see my video? Bukit Lawang? Yes. Yeah, Sumatra. Bukit Lawang and Danau Toba. Danau Toba, yeah. Good memories for me. Okay, these places. Okay, brother. Your name, your name. Tell people your name. Uh, my name is Marzani. Marzani? Yes. Okay, pleased to meet you, brother. Okay, Have a nice day. You. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> um, I think the lady... She's checking for size L for me. Ah, okay. Malacca. No, KL City. KL City, no. no. But the Johor one is nice. I like the color. You have size L? Yes. Okay. You want me to try it? I think I should try it. The size, let's see. Where you come from? Dari Scotlandia. Oh, Scotland. Yes. This is Scotlandia. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Blue, red, and white. Okay. Ah, good. Okay, berapa harganya? Okay, how many? How many? Good. Ah, satu. I only have one body, so one T-shirt. Okay. Okay, for friend. Ah? No, it's okay. You can do. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. No, you, you're you, going up, you're going up. You said 60, so you're going up. Okay, 60, sorry. No, no, I need a, I need a good price for this. I need for uh, Tika, Tika Polo. Tika Polo, Tika Polo for this. I think it's a good, good price. No, no, no. I get before in, Sa in Saba, in Saba, I get for uh, Tika. I get Saba FC uh, for um, Tika Polo. That's some yeah. different material. It's good material. No, that's uh, the same, same material. Sama Sama. Mm. You have some more. You have uh, different to Good, good price. Yeah. Good name. Uh, okay. Max, no, maximum I can do Empat Polo. Empat Polo, okay? Empat Polo, good. Lima Polo. No, last time I get um, Tiga. I get Tiga Polo last time. So okay, I can last empat. time, you say last time. Okay, empat, uh, empat lima, okay, empat lima, okay, 45. Okay. 
so that's like uh, ten dollars. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, $10. Okay. I will. I will wear. I want to wear. Oh, okay. Yeah, around. <laughs> okay, okay good. good. So I will wear the Johor and I will put the Scotland one in the bag for now. Okay. Enjoy the life, eh? Yeah, it's a good life. Yeah. <laughs> Selango, one more. Selangor? No, this is okay. You don't like Selangor? Yeah, but when I go to Selangor, then I will get the Selangor one. Yeah, you, you know? buy Selangor, and then you go to Selangor, you Oh, everyone them. will be happy ah, to see me. Yeah. No, I like to, when I'm in the place, get it. That's why I was looking for KL, but I, I don't see KL anywhere. Everyone has Manchester United, they have uh, Liverpool, and then the yeah, country, yeah. England and everything. Thank okay, thank you so much, thank Auntie. You. Thank bye you. Bye. Okay, so I've got a nice, blue, red and white football shirt. Not the one I was looking for. KL City, I believe they play in bright red. But uh, these are my colours right here. The same as your man's team, Glasgow Rangers. So, aye, kicking about this market in a blue, red and white t-shirt, fantastic. Oh, that is horrible. Who would wear something like that? I know who would wear something like that. Some hippie tourist on their first ever trip outside their own country, thinking they're walking around brand new in their elephant pants when they look like an absolute monk. Okay, guys. Uh, you know how it goes when I successfully buy something that I like. I like to reward myself with a wee treat, a wee snack or something. So let's get out of this markety street and find some food. Surely if there's a, a street like this, there's also a food street. But any Chinatown that I've been to, there's food everywhere, like the one in Bangkok, Chinatown in Bangkok, there was food everywhere. But really only at night time. So I don't know if it's the same here. Do all the vendors come out at night time? Oh. Which way should your man be going? Around here? I don't know. But oh, there is food right there. And it's, oh, it's like jerky. It's like, um, it's like beef jerky. Goy fry meat. Ah, yeah, I remember this in Macau. They were selling a lot of this stuff in Macau. This all is pork. Ah, okay. Oh, and this one is chicken. So it's like a dried meat, right? But it's still like a little bit wet. How, how long does it last? It's two days. Two weeks. Ah, okay. So yeah, it's like it's like a beef jerky or something, but um, probably use less preservatives and it's a little bit wetter. You can see it's like uh, glistening there. Yeah. So they sell by the gram. This one looks like bacon. Is this like bacon or something? No, bacon. Oh, looks so good. Can I try it or no? Uh, this one, 100 grams for one. 100 grams uh, is for 15 ringgit, yeah. right? But uh, try possible or no? Huh? Uh, sample, sample, no? No sample. No sample, oh. I think it's going to be good though. Um, okay. Uh, this one, I will take 100 grams of this one, brother. Uh. Exact. Fantastic. Okay, brilliant. So that is, that is a fair old portion right there of this bacon. This okay. very nice. Yeah. That's, that's the favourite one. Oh. But you get tea? Yeah, tea. Sweet. No sweet. No Chile sweet. Ah, oh, okay, good. And it's common that people they put them in bags, not in cups. No, no. In bags, so it's cheap, very cheap yeah. for them to make it this way. Ah, okay. And people, most people buying this one, right? Yeah. That's the most popular one. Ah, okay, good. So it's fifteen you want and sixty. No, me. Uh, no, I will walk and eat. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I want to try. It looks delicious, brother. For sixty cents. Yeah, sixty cents. I'm looking. I have 50, is it okay? Oh, okay? Okay, you're gonna let me off. <laughs> I'll you one cent. Okay, I successfully got 10 cents lower. I bargained. I bargained, <laughs> 10 cents lower. Thank okay, thank you, brother. Uh, what is the name for this? Uh, uh, Lungi. Lungi, that's your yeah, stall, Lungi. Okay, thank you. I Hi, follow, brother. I follow you on YouTube. Oh, really? Where are you from? Mauritius. Mauritius. Oh, everyone keeps telling me I need to go to Mauritius. So many people comment to go. to go to Mauritius. You are on uh, YouTube, right? Yes, and Facebook. Yeah. Yes, okay, and too. right now I'm in Jalan Petaling, about to try this. Uh, 
Wung Ki, I think that's the name of the store, and the meat that I got is Goi Fai. Goi Fai, it's like a pork bacon. Uh, you tried this before, you Muslim or no? No. Okay, you Hindu. want to try? Hindu. Hindu, okay. You can eat pork? No, no, I don't eat No, you don't pork. Oh, vegetarian, full veg. No, ah, okay. No. Okay, I was gonna offer some of my pork bacon. I'll eat it all myself then, no problem. Okay, brother, nice to see you, nice to see you. Okay, uh, where will I walk? In fact, I'll just, I don't know where the street goes, but I'm gonna take a wander this way, at least kind of quiet, so I can um, sample my pork bacon. <laughs> you know me? Uh, okay, good. Nice to see you. Okay. Also, this is the bus that I saw earlier. There's actually people on it now. Going around the city. It's going to rain soon, guys. Hello! Look at this sky. It's going to rain. It's going to rain soon. Uh, they're going to have to head into the back bit. Right. Uh, how do I do this with one hand? Okay, guys, like this. Oh, don't fall. Don't you dare fall. Oh, my God. Okay, just like this. Oh, guys. What about this, eh? What about this? No. Oh, it's sweet. The, the glaze that's on it's sweet. Mmm. Oh. And you would think with it being preserved, you know, with it not being fresh, this lasts for two weeks. It would be all hard or something like that. No, it, it's got the same texture and everything. It's freshly cooked bacon. You know, freshly cooked bacon that's not been overdone. It's got the exact same texture, but it's just this sticky, sweet glaze that's on it. Delicious. Mmm. Superb. This is just an appetizer, guys. I'm gonna try and find something else. Like a proper meal, a proper lunch meal. Somewhere in this area. Nice restaurant there, yeah, so. Old Chinese food, I think that's maybe a Chinese Muslim food. I know the name Tarek is a Muslim name. And, uh, oh yeah, they've got halal right in there. They've got the halal sign, so that's probably Chinese Muslim food. Right there. I think almost everything on this street is a restaurant. Right, we'll sit down here and get this scoffed and then we'll find lunch. Oh, pork bacon. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, chantik, chantik, ganteng, ganteng, chantik. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like they're getting their wedding photographs taken. Okay, having a good look around for some scran. Ah, so this looks like another market street that kind of runs parallel to the Petaling Street. This one's not covered though, so yeah. Oh, that guy's also, that's the same, the same brand, the Long Key. So it must be popular, but uh, yeah. Let's have a look for some scran. In there is, oh, it's a food court. Medan Celera, Tang City Food Court. So yeah, I might as well just jump in here. I'll definitely find something good in here. That looks like, oh, that looks like, um, what do you call it, churros? It's making churros there, like the Mexican thing. Oh yeah, they get deep fried. It looks like the kind of Mexican dessert. Right, let's have a look around here. Oh, this uh, noodles. All different types of noodles here. Wantan noodle, braised meat noodle, barbecue pork noodle. Oh, wantan noodle. Oh, so that's uh, wontons. Oh, that's a dumpling. Dumpling noodles. Ah, oh, it's this one. Seafood dumpling noodles. Okay, it's only 12, 12 ringgit yeah. per portion. Ah, okay. Uh, can I have one portion of this, please? The seafood dumpling noodle. And that looks like uh, Vietnamese, right? Oh, that's for the uh, Vietnamese. Yeah, I recognize this what from Vietnam. This 
Okay, it's good. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. He's making for me. Yeah, yeah this uh, seafood dumpling noodles. He's making uh, for okay. me. So uh, okay, so that's how he cooks them. There's this pan of boiling water, and he just kind of like dips it in and out for like I don't know, it's like 45 seconds or so. And another guy came and chucked in the wontons, so they're boiling away there. They're steaming, in fact, he's put the lid on. So they're gonna get dumped on top, and I don't know what uh, kind of broth we're getting. We'll see. Oh yeah, he's chucked in some spring onions. And various seasonings. Here, so. It's a supayam or? Yes, yes. Supayam, oh, okay, so it's a chicken broth. So, we're getting wonton, seafood wonton, right? Let me check what I ordered. Yeah, seafood dumplings in a chicken broth with uh, very thin noodles. They're slicing off some pork there. So, the stall, they also sell pork dishes. I think it's uh, yeah, pork noodles and wonton noodles. So that's the wontons there. I think five wontons. And they're boiled. They're not fried, so it's healthy. Because they're, you know, just boiled in water. And that is me, that is my noodles. So you're going to serve them up. Uh, I will find a table, I will find a table. Let's find somewhere cold. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I'll just sit here. I will sit here. Right next to the stall itself. Okay, good. We get chopsticks yeah. and a spoon. Okay, just 12 ring it, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys. Wonton noodle soup. Look at the size of the wontons. They're huge. Five. I think it's five. Oh, they're so slippy. They're so slippy, guys. <laughs> Pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. Any drink for you? Any drink? Yeah. Uh, you have coconut, kalapa. Kalapa, I don't juice, I don't juice. No, kalapa. Juice, I don't. This is your juice, yeah? Juice, yeah, yeah, fresh juice. Fresh juice, yeah. which, which one? Uh, what, uh, watermelon, uh, uh, honeydew. Jeruk, jeruk. Jeruk, uh, orange, orange, yes. Ah, uh, okay, but I forgot you. Uh, small, small, small. 450. 450. Ah. Okay, okay. Why not? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm getting a small orange juice. That's good because, yeah, I'm gonna need something to cool me down. This is burning hot. And yes, guys, I still can't pick these wontons up with the chopsticks. I've had to stab it. It's uh, completely the wrong way, guys. But I had to stab it with the oh. Yeah, maybe I'm better using the spoon. They're just so slippy. That's uh, yeah, that's better. I'll use the chopsticks for the noodles and the spoon for the wontons. Let's give it a go. They said it's uh, seafood, seafood wontons. Is it a one biter? Is it a one biter, guys? I don't know. Oh, oh! <laughs> I only got five of these. I can't be dropping them on the table. Oh, it's too big. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, it's like a, a blend of minced seafood. There's probably oh, a little bit chewy. Maybe there's some squid in there mixed with some fish and who knows what from the sea. It's all mashed together. Like a little, I don't know, a little seafood meatball in the middle there. And then it's just pastry that's been boiled and yeah, it doesn't feel, doesn't feel unhealthy like if you were eating, you know, fried, fried dumplings. It's all greasy and stuff because it's been boiled. It is, uh, it's going to be a healthy thing. Oh yeah, orange juice, that's for me. Fresh, right? Oh, lovely. Okay, 
see. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Get it brought to the table and everything. And that is definitely fresh as well. Fantastic. Now the broth. Yeah, the broth is just a standard broth, you know, the base of a soup. It's all about those wontons, guys, those wontons. And the noodles, let's give them a go. They're very eggy. They're like egg noodles. They're delicious. But, again, nothing special, nothing special about the soup or the noodles, but the wontons themselves are delicious. What I would say though is I would rather the wontons were a bit smaller. It's very difficult to eat this as a one biter or even as a two biter because you're gonna have to bite it off and then it's gonna drop into the soup and then splash your chin. And yeah, they're very slippery, they're very slippery. I'm having to stab them if I want to pick them up with the chopsticks, guys. I challenge anybody to come here and pick these slippery wontons up with their, their chopsticks. You would have to be a master, a Japanese master of chopsticks. To be able to do it. And this meal, 12 ringgits for the soup, 450 for the juice. So you're talking two dollars fifty for a full meal right there. That's definitely a full meal, two dollars fifty, and fresh juice for a buck. So three dollars fifty, not too bad at all. Yum yum. Okay guys, let's go and find some dessert. Terima kasih, very good, Enak, Enak. Okay, let's, uh, there's probably desserts in here, but for variety, let's go, oh, it's raining. Maybe I will. How badly is it raining? Just a drizzle guys, just a drizzle. Okay, we'll have a look around the streets for some dessert. A guy selling toast. That would be dessert, wouldn't it? Toast with honey, five ringgits, a buck. Hmm. What else? I've got, looks like onigiri there. Is that onigiri? Yeah, it's rice. I think that would be onigiri because... I think that's rice. Anyway, it's hard to tell. It's all, it's all faded. This is the way I came down. I'm going the wrong way. I want to be going the way that I didn't come, which is this way. Oh man, the rain is getting heavier. Maybe I gotta find some indoor mall or something like that. I think there is one around here in Chinatown. Let me consult with Google Maps. I'm trying to find one. What is this? Oh, a new t-shirt. It's fallen to bits already. Oh my God. I think I can rip this off. Jesus. Okay guys, looking at Google Maps, everybody's in the shelter, looking at Google Maps, there's a place called Complex Kotaraya, a shopping centre that's just around this corner, so that's where I'm going to head to, hopefully they've got a food court. Okay, yeah it looks like the typical kind of indoor markets that I was frequenting in Indonesia in Jakarta and Bandung they had these types of malls which were kind of like a market but indoors that's what this is like hello how are you oh good nice to see you okay good is there a food court in here yeah but have ice kacang or no it's uh, outside outside but, uh, Petaling straight. Petaling, have ice kacang? Yes. Ah, okay, I will try yeah, to only find. Only Filipino food and only Filipino uh, grocery. This, uh, and you're Filipino? No, I'm Malaysian. Ah, but this is a Filipino market? Yeah, this is uh, like that. Uh, it's Filipino. like that? Ah, okay. Because, uh, majority here. So this is all Filipino? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, nice to see you. Ah, okay, hello. Guys, <laughs> this so Pinoy mall Filipino was an excellent Filipino. and unexpected discovery by your man. I did not expect that when I stepped into this nondescript little building, it would be like stepping into a completely different country. It's like there's all these Pinoy restaurants, hair salons run by Pinoys, 
Sari Sari stores, like 90% of the people working there and shopping were Pinoys. Really, it was like you just stepped into the Philippines. This th There's like a little Philippines all in this little mall. It was really cool. Uh, I spent a couple of hours there meeting people, trying the local food, including the famous Halo Halo. So I've decided to cut that footage out and make it a separate vlog. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to check out my Pinoy experience in Kuala Lumpur. So after fun times in Kotaraya, the Filipino mall. There's actually no way to tell that that's a Filipino mall. You know, the whole inside is like a different country. But you've no way of knowing until you go in and then just discover it for yourself. Even on Google Maps, it doesn't mention anything about it, but that was quite an experience. And after doing the rounds with the nice lady, I've worked up an appetite for dinner. So this vlog, guys, a full day of eating in KL, I think I'm going to call this, because I've had breakfast with you guys, I've had lunch, and now I want to go for dinner with you guys. I want to try and find some Ayam Henya. It's a very famous local dish. We've had the famous Nasi Lemak today. This is Chinatown that we're still in. We had the Nasi Lemak. Now for the Ayam Penya, another famous Malaysian dish that I've never tried. So I've just typed it into Google Maps, Ayam Penya, and it came up Ayam Penya street food hawker stand or something about five minutes walk this way. So that is where we're going, guys. Dinner time. And this is the KL Tower that I mentioned earlier. And this, I guess, is the Metro, or it says Rapid KL. I don't know if that's the Metro or that's a regular train, but that is certainly the KL Tower right there. You can get a, a good view from it. I don't know if I can just walk in and get the view. I might do that after um, having this I Am Penya, but I think it's probably gonna be one of these things where you have to pre-book in advance and get a ticket. I know it's like that at the Petronas Towers. Uh, if you just walk in, almost certainly you're not going to be able to do it. Unless, I don't know, it's like 9am or 10am on a weekday or something, maybe you could uh, get away with it. But generally these things are booked in advance. So, yeah, I'm on the hunt for I Am Penyet right now anyway. So, the street food place I was looking for, for the I Am Penyet. It just doesn't exist. It's on Google Maps, but it just doesn't exist. So I've ended up here. This is some kind of tourist street, and there seems to be another I Am Penya on the map, but I can't find that one either. So I'm going to ask somebody. Brother, is there I Am Penya around here? I Am Penya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one here? Ah, oh, okay. Right here, they're selling I Am Penya. Ah, okay, okay, they have it. I am Penyet. Okay, good. I want the I am Penyet. Um, Brapa Harganya. Sepolo. Okay, 10 ringgit. Okay, that's good. Only $2. $2 for I am Penyet. Okay, good. You have ready or you need to make? You need to make. Not ready. Ah, okay. Can, can I watch you making? Can I look you making? Can? Okay, good. I am Penyet. Okay, they offered me a seat there, but it's right next to where she's cooking. And I'm already sweating. I think it's probably not going to matter because it's going to start raining. I can feel it drizzling, but they're going to wipe this down for me. It has been raining a wee bit, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, she's going to make the I am Penyet and she's going to make it fresh. It's not one of the ones that's already ready. Which I like. I like my food fresh. Thank you so much, Makasi. Oh, I can hear the sizzling. She's making now the iron penyet. This iron penyet? Yeah, this iron penyet. Ah, okay. So it gets deep fried. Yeah. Ah, okay. So what is penyet? Penyet is you smash, right? No? Penyet is like you do bang bang on the chicken, right? No, chicken mix sambal also. Chicken with sambal, ah, okay. So the way I understood it was that penyet was like smashing, was the word for smash or something. So it was like 
they smash it up a bit. But she says no, it's just basically this, oh this is the chicken in a marinade right here. And then it gets deep fried and it's served with sambal. And and tahu, no? And tahu, yeah. This is the tahu here, right? No, this is the tempeh. Tempeh. And this all tempeh. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that's a popular a popular side dish that you get with a lot of food in Indonesia and Malaysia is tempeh. It's the fermented soybeans in a kind of cake. And then that usually gets deep fried as well. You see, it's like these soybeans fermented. It's good. I think full of probiotics and all that. I don't know if deep frying it kills all that though, so I don't know. Oh no, a cat. When there's cats and you're the only one eating food, it's going to be begging, isn't it? Oh, maybe I'll get a drink to go with my I am Penyet. What is this stuff here? Hello, this is for you. No, the same stall. Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Who's the boss? Oh, here's the boss. Uh, how much? Oh, same same shop. Ah, okay. This brapa. How much? Five ringgit. Ah, okay, for this one. What is it? Oh, it's chendol. Oh, good. Chendol, I like. Normally chendol is green color. This is a pink pink color. Yeah, yeah, it's the traditional uh, Malaysia drink. Ah, this is the 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 two color and white and the red color. Red color. Ah, okay. So this is the red color chendol. You can try very nice. So does this taste different from the the white chendol, the green chendol that I normally get? Taste different. Yeah, that's good, yes. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, I will try. I will try this one, yeah. Yeah, one glass, please. You want sweet or not sweet? Ah, uh, uh, the the okay, half sweet, half okay, sweet, yeah. yeah. That's good, you can tailor it. So, this already doesn't have all the sugar syrup mixed in. It's separate, and then you can tailor the, the sweetness to how much you like. There we go. Thank you, you brother. You try sugar? Okay. Sugar, okay. Oh, see if I like. Uh, yeah. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, good. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. It's a uh, rose flavor, like faluda. The same like in uh, in India, Sri Lanka, they have faluda. Yeah. This is the same. It's a rose, rose. Oh, rose. Yeah, yeah rose flavor, rose, rose flavor. Yeah. yeah. And there's little uh, jellies in there. I think it's the rice flour, the chendol. Uh, I call them jellies, but they're basically rice flour noodles. I don't know if you can see them. They're in there. You can maybe see them. But uh, yeah, it's like, tastes like rose milk or faluda. Very nice. And ice cold, just what I need. Sweating, walking these streets. Mm -hmm. Did I ruin my appetite with this? One minute is coming, ah. Oh. Okay, that's it ready. Beautiful, fried chicken. How many pieces I get? One or two. Ah, oh, one is enough. Yeah, one is enough. Yeah. Oh, is that chicken feet? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've tried before in Bandung. There's not a lot of meat on there. You kind of just suck in skin and cartilage. This is my ayam penyet. Okay, very nice. Oh, I get a soup as well. This soup, what kind of soup is this? So, soup tagging. Ah, oh, soup tagging. Oh, yeah, it looks like beef soup. Beef? Ah, uh, beef. Oh, beef soup. Okay, that's a surprise. Okay, so this is the ayam penyet here. It's just basically fried chicken. It was marinated with something. This is a spicy sambal sauce. Underneath we have the, I believe that is just tofu fried tofu and the tempeh and the surprise soup there that I wasn't expecting. Okay, let's try the soup first guys, the beef soup. Oh yeah, oh very salty. 
very salty, very savoury, very beefy. And little chunks of beef in there as well, it's nice. Very light as well, very light. It's a clear soup as you can see. Now, the chicken itself, let's try it first before covering it in the sambal. Oh! Mmm! Yeah, it's a nice light marinade that's on this fried chicken, but the real taste comes when you cover it in the sambal. So that's what I'm going to do. Get the spoon out of the soup into this spicy, spicy sambal. How do I know that it's spicy, spicy? Well, I can see all the seeds on it. That's how I know. That's too much for your man. Let's let's take it down a couple of notches and try it this way. Hmm. <laughs> that is spicy. It's also delicious. Mm. All the meat off the bone, just like that. I gotta start eating some of the rice as well. When you're in this part of the world, you have not had a meal unless you have eaten rice. So I'm having a meal right now. Now this stuff, the last time I had soup, in Bandung, and they gave me this. I like to dip it in the soup, it was nice that way. Dip it in the soup, moisten it up a wee bit. Oh yeah. Tempe. And same with the tofu. This spongy, deep fried tofu. And this meal all for 10 ringgits, only 2 US dollars. An absolute steal of a deal, if you ask me. Mm. Oh, be careful with this sambal though guys, a little bit is all you need. Mm. And it doesn't look like there's anywhere around here to wash your hands before eating, but while I was walking down, there's a street down there with a mall on it, with some art exhibition. I nipped in there for some air conditioning and gave my hands a good wash in there, so I'm all good to be eating this. The easiest way, when meat is on the bone, you gotta use the hands. Okay, who's the boss for the money? The money boss. Yeah. 15, right? I but I bought the chindo. Yeah, okay, it's okay. 15, okay. See you, see you next time, goodbye. Okay guys, thank you. That chendo was lovely, right there. Nice and refreshing. So, it looks like there's a lot of street food down this street, right here. I didn't even explore it. I just came to the beginning of it and ate the first thing that I saw, the Ayam Penya. I'm not sure if that was the authentic one or not. I had read the Ayam Penya, the word Penya, it means the they get the, the mortar, you know, the mortar, and they smash it up a bit. But she didn't do that, so... I guess I didn't get the authentic one. I'll, I'll try it again somewhere else and compare. But it was pretty tasty. That sambal, though, you just need a little bit to give you the taste. Not too much to blow your head off. Anyway, guys, I'm, uh, I'm full, so nothing around here is tempting. There's a lot of, like, good options around, but I'm full, so I'm just gonna end the vlog here and I will see you on the next adventure. <laughs>